Hi there, it's time for Uber Grace. Identity is really, really important, as I'm sure you know, and having a sense of identity of who you are, who I am, is really important. But did you know God really is identity on, on one level? When Moses met God in the desert at the burning bush, Moses says, who are you? And God speaks to him and just says, I am who I am. I'm identity, I am, I, I don't have an identity. I'm not this, that, I am. I just am. I mean, how deep is that, really? Or the, no other God of any other religion can claim just to be, I am. <laughs> but this God does, you know. It's always a cut above. When Jesus came, he came to show us what God was like. He is the express image of the invisible God, it says in Colossians. Jesus said, if you've seen me, you have seen the Father. You've seen Father God. So if you see Jesus, you know that this is what God is like. If you want to know what God is like, just look at the Gospels and see what he did, because that is what God is like. And Jesus went round, a lot of his message was, I am the truth, the way of the life. I am the door. I am the bread of life. I am the... Um, a whole load of other things, you know, the good shepherd. He said all these things because he knew that he knew that he knew who he was. And we're supposed to be followers of him. We're supposed to be people that are like him. So actually having that sense of our own identity in him is absolutely vital because he is the I am. So I should be able to say I am with real faith and hope. One of the things uh, that Jesus did, he was chatting with his, with his homies, and he said, who do people say I am? He wanted to know how people perceived him, what people thought his identity was. And he said, oh, you're Elijah, you're John the Baptist, risen from the grave, you know, you're this, that, and the other. So he said, who do you say I am? And Rocky, it's called Simon at this point, Simon says to him, well, you're the Christ, the son of the living God. And um, Jesus is like, wow, that's, that's brilliant. That is spot on. You've not received this from human reasoning. This has come to you by the Spirit. And it's on this. I'm going to change your name to Rocky, by the way. I'm going to call you Rocky from now on because that stands for, really, this is a rock that I am building this whole movement on. What is he building the movement on? Kind of hearing from the Spirit, being led and be heard by the Spirit, but also identity having stuff revealed about identity, about who he is and who I am. This is the rock, the foundation that I'm building my movement on. We use the word church, which today has such a dirty word to it in some ways. Um, but back then, when he said church, he meant something else. He's just called out ones. He says, I'm building a movement of people that are gonna be different. They're called out from everyone else because they're gonna have this I am quality about their lives. They're going to go around, you're going to go around, building this into people so that they know how to hear from heaven, how to hear in the spirit, but also to hear about who they are, so that they can become sons of I am, that they can become followers of I am. Identity is absolutely crucial. Hey, if you've liked this, please like it. Make a comment, ask a question, or please share it so other people can hear this stuff. See you soon. Bye.